In his lecture at Moody Theological Seminary, Ryan Cook offers an in-depth analysis of the covenants present in the Old Testament, concentrating on the agreements between God and humanity. Initially, he tackles the relationship in the Garden of Eden between God and the first humans, Adam and Eve. Cook emphasizes that this relationship did not necessitate a formal covenant, as it was based on inherent mutual trust, with God coexisting with them in Eden without a specified agreement. Nevertheless, some Reformed theologians postulate a theoretical covenant between God, Adam and Eve, a covenant of grace and works, which forms a cornerstone in their theological framework. However, Cook notes that this concept is not explicitly stated in the Genesis narrative. Also, Cook transitions to discuss the first formal covenant in the Bible, made between God and Noah. This covenant extends beyond a single nation, embodying God's commitment to all of humanity and creation. The terms of the Noahic covenant are comprehensive and inclusive, encompassing not only Noah and his family, but every living creature and the earth itself. The covenant's promises are profound. God vows never to curse the ground or destroy living beings as before, ensuring the perpetuity of seasons and the provision of animals and vegetation for sustenance. The sign of this covenant, the rainbow, stands as a reminder to both God and humanity of this perpetual promise. The lecture then delves into the Abrahamic covenant, described as an unconditional promise from God to Abraham. Despite Abraham's initial childlessness, God assures him of a great nation descending from him, likening his future descendants to the stars in the sky or the sand on the seashore. This covenant, symbolized by the practice of circumcision, encompasses not only the promise of numerous descendants, but also the provision of the land of Canaan and the assurance of God's continuous presence. Importantly, this covenant is not just for Abraham's benefit. It's a global initiative, with all families on earth poised to be blessed through him. This universality accentuates God's overarching redemptive plan for humanity. The unconditional nature of this covenant is affirmed in the Genesis 15 ceremony, where God alone passes between the animal pieces, signifying his sole commitment to fulfilling the covenant's terms, regardless of human action or inaction. Moreover, Cook asserts the lasting relevance of the Abrahamic covenant throughout biblical history, pointing to its affirmation in numerous Old Testament passages and its fulfillment in the New Testament through Jesus Christ. This covenant, according to Cook, serves as a thread weaving through the entire scripture, symbolizing God's unchanging commitment to humanity. Moving on, the Mosaic Covenant, established with the Israelites at Mount Sinai, represents a continuation and partial fulfillment of the Abrahamic promises. It marks the formation of Israel as a nation and outlines their journey toward the Promised Land. However, unlike the Abrahamic Covenant, the Mosaic Covenant is conditional, predicated on the Israelites' adherence to God's laws. The covenant stipulations are detailed in the laws given in Exodus and Deuteronomy, and its sign is the observance of the Sabbath. Central to this covenant is the concept of Israel as a unique possession of God, a kingdom of priests, and a holy nation tasked with disseminating God's laws and facilitating atonement between God and other nations. Lastly, Cook introduces the Davidic covenant, an agreement that further elaborates on the promises made to Abraham. It is through David and his lineage that many of the Abrahamic Covenant's promises are channeled and realized. The Davidic Covenant outlines specific blessings bestowed upon David, including leadership, protection, and the establishment of an eternal dynasty. This covenant, while not having a physical sign like the others, is integral in the biblical narrative, pointing to the New Testament's portrayal of Jesus as the ultimate fulfillment of these ancient promises. In conclusion, Cook's lecture intricately examines the multifaceted nature of covenants in the Old Testament. He articulates how these covenants, from Noahic to Davidic, manifest God's steadfast commitment to humanity. Each covenant, with its unique characteristics and stipulations, plays a crucial role in the overarching biblical narrative of redemption and salvation. Cook's exploration into these divine agreements not only sheds light on the historical and theological underpinnings of the Old Testament, but also highlights the continuity and fulfilment of God's promises in the New Testament through Jesus Christ. The lecture series promises to extend this exploration, diving deeper into the New Covenant and its profound theological implications in the subsequent session.